Good morning, afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, I'm Cyclone. It's time for more Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. Uh, second scenario, Class 142. I mentioned it was between Huddersfield and Manchester, but here's the uh, full information. The service starts at Wakefield Westgate, which is a place we cannot go. Uh, they didn't add the extra five miles or so in order to get to that location, which you know, I can't blame them, but uh, it means we can't do that part of the scenario. We're only going to start this service at Huddersfield, and we're going to pick it up there, and we're going to continue to Manchester. Uh, it says that due to a last minute unit swap, you will have a pair of class 142's vice of class 144. I don't know what that is supposed to mean exactly. I assume it means that we're supposed to be doing a class 144, but that a class 144 it was not available and therefore it was swapped to a 142. That's what I assume it means. I have no way of knowing. But we're going to go ahead and do the service however it is in class 142 and we're going to take it to Manchester, Victoria. Let's get going. Good morning, driver. Today you'll be operating this pair of Class 142s from Huddersfield to Manchester, Victoria. M not the briefing thing again. I... Uh, don't... Don't tell me to go to the thing. Okay, so it's a Control W to turn on the last screen this one. Why the train is actually off, I have no idea because it's a train in the middle of service. I don't know why we haven't opened our doors yet, so we're going to do that. Uh, again, the headlights should have already been on. I don't know why they weren't. There they are. Interesting. Uh, instrument lights are on. Um, that's it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's look at the front of the train for a second just to make sure. And yes, the doors are open. And yeah, the headlights seem to be working okay. So everything does seem to be set up. So we don't have much else to uh, do here while we wait to keep going. Except for... Whoops. Except for that. Once again, why are book stops in here? I have no idea. Uh, because this is much more important than what is above. This is much more important than what's above. Um, yeah, if there's one that's any worse than that, I'm going to actually physically edit that. But for right now, we're going to just uh, deal with it because I can see four items in it, so at least it's some detail. Uh, it was an all-stop service, so we know that all the things are stops anyway. Everything is a passenger pickup. There's no go vias or anything like that. So basically, it's the exact same as our cab ride, except for um, the fact that Miles Plating and Park are not there. So let's just look at the train. We'll wait to get going. Leaving Huddersfield platform number one, which is where we start this service. Our first stop will be, yes, I checked this according to uh, other people, Slough it. Don't ask me why. That's apparently known as Slough it, not Slaithwaite. Your test will be Monday. So this right here would be the Huddersfield South Tunnel. We need more power on this train if we're not going to end up late for our stops here. We're already, in fact, losing a lot of time on our stop, it looks like, which is not what I want to see. Need this thing to gain power in a hurry, please. Boy, that's a slow increase, isn't it? At some point, we'll find our way to the other side of this tunnel. Here is the end right here, in fact. The line to Penistone is going to head off to the left. We're going to just keep right on going. There it goes. So we are now in the uh, Gladholt Silk Tunnel.
So along this stretch, we're going to pass by the former Longwood and Millsbridge station. This precedes the uh, Millsbridge, excuse me, the Millsbridge Viaduct. I wonder if that was the footbridge from the old station. Because the viaduct should be coming up right here. Yeah, this is probably the viaduct. We're still only at 55 miles per hour. We are not getting the time we want on this. We need to be there in two and a half minutes. We have two and a half miles to go. We can't even get to our 60 speed limit on this uphill. So this is really taxing our uh, train and our potential arrival time. We're going to be passed by Gold Car and going across the Gold Car Viaduct. Quick look on the outside of the train here. There we go. And a there's a footbridge passing over. And along here we're going to eventually come upon the Crimble Viaduct. That will precede Slavit. Now we're coming up on 60, which is uh, certainly a challenge on this uphill. This train is not meant to go 60, apparently, on this route. But we managed to uh, coax it out of her. A mile to go to the station, so that Crimble Viaduct should be in that range right before the station in this next mile. Do have a green signal, that is without a doubt. So we're clearing to allow it. We need to rate it slow down now. In fact, I'm going to start right now. See how well the brakes work. Oh, they're working really well. They work really nicely. Okay, we want to stop right on a dime here, which is what we're going to do. Stopping on a dime. That was a good stop. Arrival at Slawit, platform number two, for our first stop today. Leaving Slawit, our next stop is Marsden. I had a weird uh, bug with this train during that stop. Thank goodness I actually saved during that stop because the train wouldn't move. And then when I reloaded, the train decided to move with the door open. So for some reason, I was suddenly allowed to move again. So 
there's still some bugs with this train that seem to be coming through on this uh, play of the scenario, unfortunately. Uh, all I can do is uh, save as I go and hope I don't run into them. So I'm already running into them. So be very careful with this uh, scenario and with the other one, I would say. Make sure you save as you go because anything can happen anywhere. An out of memory error can occur and you lose everything. So save as you go. It is super important when you have uh, a train or a game that has problems uh, doing things the way it should. And this seems to be one of those scenarios, unfortunately, just because of a problem with the train. So save as you go. Well, there's not too much I need to talk about during this section. We are we may have already crossed the solid line like while I was giving you a warning and advice there. Uh, but there's nothing else really to talk about until we get to Marsden. We're going to be eventually taking, I think, a dip south and then a dip back to the west. And that will be where uh, Marsden is located. So a left and a right, a very prominent left and a very prominent right. We're going to have a little bit of wiggling up to that point. So we're a little less than two miles, about 1.8 miles to get to uh, Marsden from our present location. We have plenty of time to do this. So you see the speed limit becomes 45 after Mars, and that's because there's going to be a tunnel somewhere up there. We're then going to get to go back, up, up into an 85. So that 60 is not going to affect us because we're not even at 60 yet. So that tells you something about how uh, this uphill really tanks the uh, 142. But things will be smooth in the tunnel, it looks like. Trying to decide when to take the brakes off here. I know I can go a little bit further here. I've got all the time on Earth right now, so I could do it earlier if I want to. But we just got a warning for the speed drop, it looks like. And we just saw the board go by rising of the 45. So we've taken the uh, speed off, or the throttle off now. Speed is lowering on its own, but not enough. Obviously, we have to hit the brakes anyway. That needs to be active. There we go. Once again, stopping on a dime. Time has been found. Arrival at Marsden, platform number two. We got about a minute and a quarter to wait, so uh, we'll wait. Leaving Marsden, our next stop is Greenfield Platform Number One. We're gonna have some things to look at along the way here. I want to give you another warning for this train. If you if you do a save game, it seems that when you load the save game, your brakes get reset to zero to a release state. Uh, I've already had my train moving on me with the doors open, even though I have brakes on as I make a save at a station. So. Whenever you load a save game, make sure you slam that brake on immediately because you're not going to have any brakes active. I don't know why the train does that. It does that. 
Do I consider it a bug? Oh yeah, I do. So we're coming up to Stand Edge Tunnel. We're gonna look at something on the uh, at the entrance of the tunnel here. We're gonna look at the Canal Aqueduct very briefly. I'm trying to manage my speed so I don't speed in the tunnel. So here we go. This is the Canal Aqueduct right here. There should be water in here. There isn't really. And it just basically goes along under this bridge here. So the water comes in through here, and that's where the water comes over. So unfortunately in this game, we're not gonna to get to see the water actually coming in down that viaduct. So the workers are, I guess, trying to make it work again. I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to do. Anyway, the standard tunnel is one of the longest tunnels along the uh, route. The other one, of course, being the Morley Tunnel on the other side of the route. So each side has its long tunnel. This is, um, this particular tunnel, in fact, it is the boundary between London Northwestern and London Northeastern. So we're now entering the London Northwestern section of the track. Did my headlights get reset? I hope not. I can't tell right now. That's super annoying. And we have a little dip to 60 coming up, so we're going to have to watch our speed coming along here. We can run the speed a little faster for right now. We are going to have time on the ETA according to what I'm seeing, but we are going to have to drop this down to 60 and then increase it back up to 65. of the mile of the speed change now I do I do have lots of time to bring it down remember I was doing uh, stops from 60 at about three tenths of a mile out of the station so we have time for our stops here or slow down all we have to do is drop 10 mi or 15 miles there goes somebody So we drop to 60 as we exit the tunnel. We're then going to enter a stretch back up to 65, which we're now under. It's a small enough increase. I'm just going to go ahead and keep uh, about a half throttle here, a little over half because you can't be at half. We now want a downhill segment, so I'm going to actually remove that throttle and just let the uh, downhill do the job. One in 125. I think is going to uh, manage an increase for us. Keeping a minimal throttle for now just to make sure I do get up to 65, but I'm gonna take it back off at 64. Station's coming up anyway, so it's kind of irrelevant. And indeed, we are gaining speed at this uh, stretch. So that throttle was doing nothing. Wow, that was a drop. Now we're actually losing speed. The downhill is not as strong as it was, one in 175. 
So we're actually losing a little bit of speed here now. But nonetheless, that uh, slight downhill is probably going to affect our braking for Greenfield. So we might have to start slowing down just a wee bit earlier here. Well, it's kind of being helped by the uh, situation here. So we did pass Stingle Junction, a lot of other uh, old station locations along the path here. I'm not going to try and go back and get them all for you. The Mecklehurst line it would be running along us on the left right now if it still existed. And now we're coming into Greenfield, so we're going to start slowing down for another on the dime stop. There we go, arrival at Greenfield, platform number one. leaving Greenfield. Our next stop is Mosley. Somewhere in the stretch up ahead here we're going to be crossing the Stockport Road crossing but um, I don't remember seeing that on the previous run through so I don't know if it's actually depicted very well. We'll see as we'll see as we go here. may not be depicted. So we should have a green signal up here. Just to review our remaining stops again, it is all stops. So we're going to be going to Mosley for stop number five, then Staley Bridge. We're going to stop at Ashton Underlin, and then uh, Manchester Victoria. That is a class 47 coming through, heading for Hull. And uh, like again, don't mind the fact that the briefing cuts all this off. I it's kind of hard for me to do my part showing you what I'm doing when that's in the way, but I can't help it. Sorry, guys. So I'm cutting the frog back just a little bit here because we are coming up to the uh, whistle board. Pardon me, guys. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay, yeah, there's no... Um, I don't think the Stockport Road Crossing was depicted. That would be a mistake. I'm going to call that a, a mistake by DTG not showing that crossing. So I've gone ahead and taken the throttle off because we are on a downhill. This is going to affect our braking a little bit. So we need to keep this in mind as we try to come to a stop at Mossy. I'm going to actually slow down a little right now because we are currently aiming to be slightly early. So let's take advantage of that. Actually a little more. Just got slightly steeper, 1 in 25, 1 in 125 became 1 in 124. Mostly we, uh, I think we barely fit. That'll do. We've arrived at Mosley and, uh, 
Yeah, that's all we need to know about that. The line from Oldham, by the way, meets at, um, I think it was at Greenfield back there, but I missed that. We'll talk about that another time. Leaving Mossley, our next stop is Stally Bridge. We are 2.7, well we started about 2.7 miles away from Stally Bridge. We're expected to be there in about three and a half minutes from now. We are up to 30 miles per hour, so at that rate we would be there in about seven minutes. So we do need to pick up a little extra speed here. This is the Scout Tunnel. You can see a 50 mile per hour segment up ahead. We're also on a downhill, so let's keep in mind we're going to need to break before that 50 on a downhill. 1 in 124. We will take our speed up to 60 for a little bit because that is going to get us a uh, fair distance here that we need to cover in a very quick order. If we're lucky to get 65, we'll take advantage of it. That, I believe, is a signal warning or a speed warning? I'm not sure. That's a signal warning, double yellow. Why am I doing? No, 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 don't. Boy, I'm screwing out around with the controls here, aren't I? Now, because I supposedly have a yellow situation, is that a single yellow? We got warned for the 50 as well. So I think that is still, that is a double yellow. Okay, it did look wider. So we are going to be cleared into Staley Bridge. That's what that means. We are cleared. Let's take the uh, brakes off for a moment because we can still go ahead here into the station. going quite the ideal speed for uh, getting there as quickly as possible. We should still be on time, I think. I think 45 will do for this, so uh, we'll work on that. We're going to get our single yellow signal. It might be a double yellow again by the time we reach it. Nope, it's a single yellow. Well, we just can't overshoot the platform anyway, so this is the Stanley Bridge Old Tunnel. I've been too busy dealing with uh, signals to worry about the re-platforming line I wanted to show you there. There's a junction indicator up ahead. I think the line is set for Manchester Piccadilly right now, and that's what the junction indicator means. That is probably going to change by the time we get up there. I mean, it would have to. We can't go that way. A quick look at what I mean. If I go to the map, you can see right here, this is what we're being set for. I did not mean to slow down that much, so that was a little unfortunate. And the line is still set for the junction, so that's not promising. So we're gonna have a red until that changes. And we're technically late by a few seconds now. I'm just gonna go ahead and coast the train in a wee bit here. And we're gonna stop the train right there. Arrival at Stanley Bridge Platform 3. Let's see what happens up ahead.
leaving Sally Bridge to an immediate alert. That is to a yellow signal that is now at the end of our platform. As the line has changed, we are clear to the down Crowthorn in terms of our uh, pathing. Uh, but clearly the signals are not cleared yet. So we're going to continue along onto a 25 junction here. That's why I'm increasing my speed slowly. And that's why it's a warning, because it's a junction indicator. Now it is a yellow signal, so we have to assume the next signal could still be a red signal. Chances are it is green, but we have to assume that it could be red. If it was a long enough wait, it better be a green signal. There better not be a train stuck in Ashton Underland. That would ruin our day. So I'm keeping the train at caution for now, which is against my better judgment because of the fact that um, I'm going to hold a minute for the timing at Ashton. We're probably okay. Never mind. So we'll stay at caution for a moment here. It looks like we have a green signal up ahead, so I'm going to now go ahead and start increasing towards 60 miles per hour. We're now entering a speed limit of irrelevance per hour, uh, as it is higher than we're going to be able to go coming to a stop at the station here. Actually, it is a 70. So the throttle is coming off. This is the Catherine Street Tunnel. Oh yeah, we have lots of time. Look at this. I'm just going to let the train slow down gently here. And to avoid overshooting, I may need more. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay here. I'm gonna actually, close. actually, no, I should have kept it on. Whoops. Just stop right there. Good enough. <laughs> Second guessing. Part of the job. Arrival at Ashton under Lynn, platform number one. Leaving Ashton under Lynn, our next stop is Manchester, Victoria. Our final stop, I should say, is Manchester, Victoria. So as it stands, we're about 6.4 miles away. I'm actually a little less than that now, but that's where we started. About 6.4 miles away from Manchester, Victoria. So along here, we did have a uh, line that used to go away from us. That line has been lifted. It went towards the um, went towards the Crowthorn Junction, a little further along the line that's been going away, coming in from our left. The entrance from the other direction is still there, so you can still access from the other direction, but it is not used for passenger services. That's at the Ashton Moss North Junction, which uh, I believe we're about to cross uh, in a moment.
And up after this bridge, I believe, is the Ashton Moss North Junction. Here it is. So that bridge represents Richmond Street. We are going to be crossing the M60. We're going to be on a bridge crossing it, so we're going to see that going by about uh, right there. Easing my throttle off now because I know we're going to be uh, hitting 75 soon. We are going to have our speed lowered up ahead as well, so let's uh, behave. So I think we're going to be coming upon the Clayton Bridge Viaduct somewhere in this area. I might not have the location correct on this. No moment of lag there. I've gone ahead and cut the throttle off completely knowing we're going to be coming. There's the Clayton Bridge Viaduct, so Clayton Bridge CCTV crossing should be right behind it. There it is. This is going to take us to uh, Bagley Fold Junction. There's going to be a line going away. It still is there at Bagley Fold Junction. So I've come down well below the 70 that's being marked here. You can see we do have a 60 I need to drop for up ahead as well. We're getting a warning. That's probably for the 30. Yep. So there's Bagley Fold Junction right there. We're going to now find Park Station in this segment in a disused state as it is no longer open. There it is, Park Station. So I'm well under the 60 I need to be now, but I still need to bring it way down to the 30. And now we're going to be getting lifted back to a 50 and then down to a 40 as we come into Manchester Victoria. So let's start worrying about that 30 now. I seem to have gained some time, so I don't mind losing some speed now. Take a little bit more time here. All right. Gradually bringing that speed down so I can try to not drop too far. Slightly above where I want to be. Still slightly above. And hitting a downhill. So we're going to actually have to go a little under after all. After all that effort. So we're now hitting a 30 mile per hour stretch. This is going to take us into Miles Plating Junction. As you can imagine, this is the former site of Miles Plating Station. It used to be right on the junction on both tracks. And the uh, platform actually ended at the junction. Literally right up to the junction. Maybe maybe uh, 100 meters or so up to where the tracks joined. We can now go 50 again. We're not going to try to go 50 because there's a 40 coming up. I don't know why the 50 is here. These are the metro lines. They're, they're like, oh no, these aren't specifically the metro lines, but I know there are metro lines off to our left here. Maybe they are actually the metro lines. 
very possible in the modern day compared to the other route that they do uh, go through that section. In fact, I think they are pictured on the map, so I'm going to say they are the Metro Lines. So we're going to maintain the 40 for right now. Ooh, a little bit of leg there. Let's not speed, please. This is a 1 in 47 downhill. We are easily going to speed on this if we're not careful. So we're going to keep our speed well under the 40 limit to make sure we don't blow this. All I'll say is I've already blown it once or twice, so you're not seeing that. No problem with the signals responding on this train. I've had no issues on that. We're going to be cutting ourselves down to a 20 as we come to the station itself. Probably on the same 1 in 59 downhill we're on now. I don't think I don't think it will smooth out completely, but it does smooth out by the time we enter the station. We're super early. Let's just bring the speed down now. We are super early. So we should have a single yellow signal now. We had a double yellow previously, I, would, I believe. So that's now a single yellow. I see multiple tracks with a yellow on them, actually. Apparently another train is coming in. <coughs> Pardon me. So we're clear for one, they're clear for four, whoever that train is. Ah, down to a 1 in 178 grade. So it has smoothed out a bit. I'm going 16 now, which is a little slow. But again, I've got three minutes to make the stop. So we're, we're about to make it. So bringing the speed down even more. I don't like 13 because it's the number. So we're down under 12 now. There's the platform. So I'm going to drop a little more speed off so we can coast up to the buffer. Now going 7 miles per hour. Thank you for riding along today. Make sure to grab your pants on the way out. We don't want to have to try and return to you. Thank you. You knew I had to get a passenger address in, right? Yep, I had to do it. So I'm going two miles per hour now on buffer approach. It just ticked down to zero, and technically we want to put the buffer in the window, but uh, you know what that'll do. Doors are open at Manchester Victoria. Let's look at our train as we conclude. That'll do. That's good enough. Uh, actually, it was closer than I thought I was, so probably better I didn't keep going. But in any case, uh, that is the end of that. Hello, sir. That is the end of that service. So uh, we're now two scenarios in. We got five more to go. I'm probably going to take a break tomorrow and we're going to continue on Friday and Saturday. So keep in mind that schedule Friday and Saturday. Uh, we're probably going to have a very quick wrap up here too, knowing the same person probably made this scenario as the first one. So we're probably going to have the same quick close that we have to do here. So we're going to get ready to read the message when it comes up. Make sure you like the video, by the way, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this drive. We're going to see more drives like this. There are those cranes working in the distance. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't be happy at that height. I would not like being at that height. That would worry me. I would have a hard time working up there. That's all I'm gonna say. Good work, driver. Yep, that's my name. You've reached the end of your shift time for what? Well, that's the same message as last time. I'll see you at the scoring screen, guys. So there's the uh, result of. 1,000. I think there's a problem. I don't think they actually turned on the um, ability for XP to count on the uh, assigned scenario IDs because as I'm recording both of these scenarios, and this is, again, I'm recording this on day one because I need to get the second recording ready for you a little earlier so there's not a problem with uh, getting it published within the day. The first one's a rush. Obviously, the second one will be a little more time. So I recorded both of them today, and on both scenarios, I got zero XP. So this is not normal and I think this is something that is going to be fixed. I'm 
guarantee that someone's already mentioned this to him. If if uh, it hasn't already happened, it will. Uh, but it. But yeah, that needs to be fixed because the XP is not counting. Now, again, I, as far as I'm concerned, we can do away with the XP. The XP doesn't mean a thing. It means absolutely nothing. But, um, you know, some people do look at the XP to say, hey, I'm a better driver than you. And I don't know how that makes them a better driver because it just means they're playing unsafe driving conditions in some scenarios. We won't talk about that. Um, yeah, who cares? In any case, uh, that's the end of that scenario. And there's not really much else to discuss here. Uh, nice little drive from Huddersfield to Lee, to Huddersfield to uh, Manchester, actually, I should say. Uh, of course, originating at Wakefield Westgate to get to um, Manchester Victoria in the end. So that was our first of the two Class 142 scenarios. I'm tempted, especially after noticing the bug with loading a save game, I'm now tempted to load in the Armstrong Powerhouse model for Scenario 5. I'm undecided if I will do that, but I might do that, just to see what the difference is between the two. And I'll, if I do that, I will replace the Scenario uh, 5 with the updated version in my copy. It's only going to be my copy. You're, of course, going to get the regular train unless you do the same thing. And you know the tricks to do that. So I'll leave you to figure that out. But for right now, that's all I need to see. 2M63, 1025, Wakefield Westgate to um, Manchester Victoria is complete. I'll see you next time for the third Scenario where we're going to originate at Leeds. And I believe we start outside the station uh, from what I already took a look at that Scenario. Uh, just the entrance. We start outside the station and we're going to be coming into Leeds to start that service. Uh, I believe I believe it's a freight service, but I might be remembering that wrong. It might be a um, passenger service. I'm just forgetting. But I, but Class 47s were known for doing freight services in, the, in that day as well. So chances are it might be a freight service. We'll find out next time. I'll see you for that. That should be on Friday. If it is already published, you'll see it on my playlist. In the meantime, have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever you speak, you're part of the world. Again, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. I'm Cyclone. And uh, on that playlist, that video should be on in three, two, one.